All right, so what's interesting is all these things have something in common. Something the PlayStation doesn't have. I'm talking between my Series S, X, iPhone, Galaxy, PC, projector, Xbox Game Pass, and it's the future. Yeah, as I said, Xbox Game Pass is the future. And it's something I have stated before so many times. Now, before all PlayStation fans come and attack me with pure venom, I'm hoping the PlayStation has something similar to at some point. And there are a lot of great games there and I love those games myself. But this video is all about the flexibility and some of the huge benefits that I think is needed in gaming right now. So if you're watching us for the first time, thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit a, hit a like on this video. And also this video is brought to you by ViewSonic who make that awesome M2E projector, which we'll talk about more ahead in the video. So with Game Pass, it's the flexibility of gaming on the go and gaming everywhere with everything. Now, in the last couple of months, we know it's been very difficult to get a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X or S. It is phenomenally hard. And thank God my buddy Matt Swider is able to give people tips. So definitely follow him on Twitter if you want to pick yourself up one of these consoles, be it the Xbox Series S, X, or even the PlayStation 5. But it is difficult. And a lot of people want to get into next-gen gaming or play a lot of games, which is where Microsoft says, you know what? I got you. I got you. I have options for you to play on. You can buy our consoles if you can find them, the Xbox Series X or the Xbox Series S, or you can play on your Android device here. I've got Outriders on my Galaxy S21 Ultra, or I can continue that game even on my iPhone now, finally, which is pretty cool. Now, that doesn't stop there. It allows you to move from those mobile options over to your PC or even a projector. Oh, I can't wait to show you the projector. But what makes it awesome is the fact that it's a monthly subscription service, and you guys know this, uh, and some people call it the, the Netflix of gaming, and I think it's that and a little bit more. Paying around $15 a month, and if you are lucky to get in with that uh, early special package that Microsoft allowed us to turn our Xbox uh, Live subscriptions into Game Pass for just a buck, that was a great way to tie yourself in you have access to over 200 games. If you're playing on console, about over 150 games on mobile and about 150 games on PC as well. That flexibility to play the games you wanna play is great and it's really important. Now, some of you say, but exclusives. Yes, yes, exclusives are important. And PlayStation has a lot of great exclusives. That is why this is really important. I'm one of those who loves games like Spider-Man Miles Morales. I love games like God of War, but I wanna be flexible playing those. I wanna be able to jump in and enjoy them right now. If I can't buy a PlayStation 5 and I wanna play Spider-Man Miles Morales, I, I can't play. That that's just the honest truth. It doesn't matter. And here's the funny thing about that is that with the Xbox Series X, Series S and Game Pass, you can do that right now with a lot of games. Prime example is Outriders. I just mentioned the game. Uh, it's a game that I just started playing. The reason why, you know, it came out earlier this year, a lot of people talked about it, but the big buzz was the fact that Xbox users could actually get it day one on Game Pass, which is phenomenal. So which means I don't have to pay for the game because I'm paying a monthly subscription. So I downloaded it on my Xbox Series X and I am gonna continue here on my um, Galaxy. And if I wasn't taking my Galaxy with me, I would be playing it on my iPhone as well. That kind of fluidity is great. Plus the online saves that Microsoft has built into their service really goes a long way. Now, speaking of those exclusives and what it can actually bring for you, that's something I really want Microsoft to boost and bring up. And I'm not denying that it's not something that they should do, but we know games are coming. We know that's actually gonna come and push through. So I'm excited to know that 
every single Microsoft first party game, and now that they have Bethesda and 23 to 27 studios, is coming day one on Game Pass, which means Halo, which means um, you know all the games of Bethesda will land, the next Doom, I'm a Doom fan, will land day one, and I can play on any of these devices. That is truly awesome, and that's something that is missing and intangible. Now, another thing that's really cool is the fact that third-party titles are beginning to also flow heavily to Game Pass. So, which means for people who are fans of, say, games like FIFA, because EA has a huge selection and the EA library is now accessible there, uh, Madden, those kind of games, which are yearly releases, which honestly, you should not be buying those games yearly. You can now play on Game Pass. Now, a big coup this year was, of course, MLB The Show was day one. That is a game that was PlayStation Direct. I mean, like you could play it only on the PlayStation, but I can play it on any of these consoles. And speaking of playing it anywhere, that flexibility is great. It means that I can get up, I can go into town. I've done videos of me going out in the city, gaming with, uh, of course, either my Galaxy or my iPhone, and then I can come back home and I can use things like the ViewSonic M2E projector which takes things to a very different level. Now, this projector is really, really cool. Price point is roughly around $599, and it comes with a ton of features. It's got a thousand lumens, uh, and it has a couple of connectivity options with it. You've got USB Type-C, HDMI, as well as also USB-A, and a micro SD card slot. Comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it has its own inbuilt app store where you can download your favorite entertainment apps like Netflix, uh, Plex, also as well, Amazon Video, and also has this pretty nifty kickstand, which allows you to place and level it the way you want. But what's really cool is you've got this carrying case, and think about it from the perspective as a gamer. You walk in, or you're traveling, you go to a friend's house, or it doesn't matter, you go to your parents' place. Your parents have an old TV, you really don't want to use that. You put your projector down, you basically turn it on, plug connected via USB Type-C, and boom. I have my Xbox games right there, 100 foot on a screen, and I'm gaming. Absolutely amazing. That, to me, takes it to a very different level, and that's why I really love this projector. Plus, it's got built-in audio as well, and it's got a couple of really cool features where you can change the audio from the phone to the device or even cast the audio to a separate device as well. So a lot of great things to do with this and it adds to this ecosystem of gaming everywhere that I think a lot of people need to enjoy. Now, some will say Nintendo's done this first with the um, Nintendo Switch. And Nintendo had the right idea. They've always had the right idea with, with uh, handheld devices. But I think the flexibility of moving around is great. I think that aspect is really important because it allows people to jump in whenever they want. And I think that's where Microsoft is. Now, again, I'm gonna hear the PlayStation fans tell me, no, PlayStation is the best. And honestly, they're the market leader and they should. But this is what PlayStation should be doing, and that's why I think Game Pass is the future. Microsoft has taken that leap forward, and they've decided that yes, you can play your games wherever you want. I want to be able to do that. I want to play it on a console. I want to get 4K 120. I want to be able to play it on my laptop, my laptop that doesn't have a dedicated GPU, and game as much as I want. I want to be able to be on a bus or a train and game on my phone. And I wanna be able to have something like a projector like this, plug it in and enjoy on a much larger canvas. That is what gaming is about. The flexibility, uh, the ideas, the push, you name it. Now, some of you say, oh, this is a Microsoft fanboy. He just loves it. Look, I love games, guys, I do. I want everyone to have and enjoy this kind of service. And that's why I think this is the future. So, if you have any comments about this video or you totally disagree with me, leave your thoughts down below. If you want to pick up anything you've seen here, I'll leave links down for you, especially the ViewSonic M2E projector, as well as also the Kishi and the Backbone controller if you want to pick those as well. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.